We are learning more about this industrial inferno that we first brought to you as breaking news yesterday. Dozens of vehicles were burned to a crisp and today we are speaking with some of their owners. Local 10's Derek Shore is live now with an update. Derek. In fact, we are told this is a tow yard and take a look. You can see all of this extensive damage. There's a tow truck there and on top of it, a car. All of this, for the most part, owned by one company, and they say they were not the ones responsible. They're wondering who was. I was devastating. You know, I started crying. I couldn't believe it. Enid Marco still in shock. This is what she pulled up to yesterday afternoon. Explosions, massive flames, visible for miles. Dense, dark smoke rising into the air. Dozens of cars and other items on fire. I didn't know uh, what was going on, if it was our place or it was the place next to us. Only later would Enid confirm it was her business storage yard ablaze. She and her husband own LED towing and transport. Many of the tow trucks and investment vehicles now gone, including a high-end Corvette. Everything was gone, everything. The property, located behind American Fruit and Produce Warehouse off Northwest 42nd Avenue and 128th Street in Opalaka. She says firefighters told her they suspect people working next to her yard may have been welding, sparking a diesel fire. They had um, improper tanks of diesels. Fire officials have not released an official cause of the blaze. Enid, meanwhile, estimates hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of property now just scrap. We work really hard for everything and, and, you know, we lost everything. Right now we are out of business. Right now they are out of business. Enid says they are working to figure out if there is any insurance that could play a role in here. But of course it will all depend on what fire investigators find as a final result, a cause of this fire. No one was hurt, no other businesses were damaged, but indeed quite a devastating loss for one family here in Opalaka. We are live in Opalaka, Derek Shore, Local 10 News.